Alright guys, where are we going? To the house we're making. To the house we're making. Okay, you guys, who is ready to see our first official flip for White Buffalo Homes? All brick, sturdy as a rock, and so darn cute. The exterior was in much better shape than the interior, I will say. Very quick look at some exterior design plans. We will be painting all of the brick. Hang on, buddy. Oh, hey. Hey. That's for me. Sorry, guys. That's worth the interruption right there. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Preciousness. So, like I was saying, we're going to paint the brick. We're going to do window boxes. Okay. We'll have all new railings here. We're going to do a... Sorry, my fingers messed up the focus. But we're going to do a shed roof to make this a covered porch. So excited to walk you through, give you the first look at the space and talk a little bit about what we're gonna do to it. Things are moving fast and furious, which we are used to that pace. Every house we've ever gotten, we close on it. We immediately have like a four to six month deadline. So we, dem demolition starts the day we close. So we closed on this house a little over a week ago. And so, so much has already happened. <laughs> so this is not a true before, this is an in progress, but I'm gonna talk you through kind of what was here and what we're gonna do. So I'm so excited to share this progress with you guys. Let's take a look. Okay, so coming here in the front door, oh, you're gonna see major demo has happened. Um, so I'm gonna, on the blog, I'm you can see a before floor plan and then an after floor plan. So that's gonna make all of this make sense. But before you walked into, you had this archway here and you walked into a small little living room, and then right there where that wall is, there was a wall across with a fireplace that we removed. That was a bedroom behind there, okay? Um, you come through here. This was a small little room, dining room. There was a wall here, and then that was a kitchen that connected back to that other bedroom. Then on here on the other side of the house, it's a pretty typical like old cottage floor plan. Okay, have a hallway. This was a guest bath. Every house we've ever bought, old houses, the floor is always rotted through in the bathroom. And so we can we got into everything anyway, but that is required to make sure of water damage and rebuild everything. And so then you had two bedrooms on each side here of this bathroom. Okay, so that's kind of a look at where this started, floor plan wise. Like I said, before and after floor plan on the blog will help you get a better idea of that, but I did want to touch on that. Now I'm going to walk you through and kind of talk through what we're going to be doing for the new floor plan. Okay guys, so now we're going to look at what we're going to do. I'm here in the front door, and so this is going to become foyer. You may see there, stairs. So yes, we are going up and we are using all of this amazing square footage. So the, the attic um, floor to peak is 10 feet. And so we have 15 by 42 of usable space up there that already has windows. And so it's about 630 square feet. And so we're gonna put two beds, a bath and a playroom up there. So the stairs are gonna come down here in the foyer. Okay, we're gonna keep that archway right there. That's gonna go into the dining room. This is just gonna be a really pretty entry. I'm excited to do stuff with it to make it really special. Y'all know I love a foyer in the front door with steps, so that's gonna be awesome. And then through here, you're gonna have an opening here, walk like a walkway that's about five feet going into the living room. And so we made the living room huge by getting rid of this wall and fireplace. The fireplace, was had to come down structurally. It was in really bad shape. The brick was like crumbling in. Um, so I was sad to lose the fireplace and the character of that, but it was not real character. I'll show you a picture of it. But that opened up this living room to be a huge space over here. The kitchen is gonna stay where it was before, back in that back area, which is a great size space. And we're gonna have a giant 10 foot cased opening here that will connect the living room and the kitchen. Okay, so finishing more with the common space. When you walk here, this will be dining. Here in this space, it's been opened into the kitchen. So you'll have 
kitchen all around there with a big island, all the stuff I love that makes like the focal points of a kitchen, exterior door there. And this is a downtown Greenville house. And so the backyard thankfully is such a good size. It's a really big lot for downtown. All right, so there is a look at the before of this, the living space. And I'm so excited to get my design hands now on this space and really give it the things I love. Cohesive color palette, cohesive finishes and kind of a whole house theme and focal points. Y'all know I love my focal points and so I'm excited to start creating. Okay, so this opening here that before remember was hallway with two guest bath beds and the bath in between now is becoming the master suite. So there's still gonna be a little hallway here that's kind of your entrance into the suite. There'll be a doorway straight ahead of you where laundry will be right here. There'll be a doorway to the right, right here inside the hallway with a powder bath. And then there will be a door to the left over here that will go into the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is a really good size for the size of this house, especially with the way that we're able to extend it. It's got good windows. So we're gonna be extending that wall some. So the bedroom is gonna be about 15 feet wide, which is bigger than any master we've ever had in our houses. Um, over here, so this was the closet door. So this doorway is actually going to stay. It may shift some, but there will be a door here. There's gonna be a hallway right here that shoots back to the rest of the master suite. So you're gonna get to keep that window there. The hallway is gonna kind of run here behind the laundry room and go back into that bedroom, which will be master bath and his and hers master closets. You know how I love those. So one of the most fun things about buying old houses and renovating them for us is that you literally never know what you're gonna find. But when you start taking down the walls and the sheet rockets, also an adventure because always there is something that is a little questionable. Um, this house was no different. So let's take a look at what we found when we took down all of the plaster walls. Okay, can anybody guess what this pile of rubble is? Yes, they are cinder blocks. Every wall in this house, you guys, except for a few closets, were six inch wide cinder block walls. So all of the exterior walls are cinder blocks, but also all of these interior walls were six inch cinder block. We have never encountered that in all the houses we've ripped apart. But the good news about that is that before we really wanted to go up to get more space. This house was starting at 1300 square feet. We were not going to add on. We weren't going to use the upstairs. But once we even though it's literally already there and perfect, but once we realized that the house is literally cinder block walls, it is as sturdy as it could be, going up was a viable option. So it turned out to be a blessing in disguise, even though we had to get pretty creative and it made some of this a little bit complicated. We're actually really grateful now because the house now is gonna be 2,000 square feet. All the living spaces are much bigger. The master suite's bigger. The kids' bedrooms are bigger. There's the addition of a playroom and the layout just makes a lot more sense now. So anyway, renovation realities. We are so excited. Like I've said, we've dreamed about this for 10 years to work together in this way as our day job and to have a family business that even the kids were a part of. And it is happening. And I am still blown away by what God has done with this adventure. I know a lot of y'all have been following our renovation to debt journey for a long time. This was always one of the things, the biggest, one of the biggest things we prayed would come out of that journey. And it has. White Buffalo Homes is here and we're so excited. As Chris keeps saying every day when he goes to work, he's like, let the buffalo roam.